guys, it's Chris the BSC, and welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles. And I'm so glad that you're back with me today. And I want to thank each and every one of you that have watched the unboxing and the review for this beautiful statue. Of course, I'm talking about Hell on Wheels, of course, from Sideshow Collectibles. But let's not forget about this beautiful statue. Now, this was another one that I hesitated for a really long time to get. I had the OG piece. I was happy with her. This one, I wasn't so sure until I got it in hand, and oh my god, I fell in love with this one. I think it works so well in the case. It's very dynamic. It looks like he's like she's going to hit Batman over the head with her mallet. It's just fantastic. So that's why I didn't order this one right away, because I was like, okay, I already have one I love. I don't really need this one. I'm glad I went ahead and got her. Um, but now I'm really going to struggle trying to figure out which one's going to go in the case. So I wanted to do a comparison, a compare and contrast, kind of rate the base, rate the bodies, rate the head sculpts, and kind of feel my way around to see kind of which ones I think are better and which ones I think uh, might fit better in the case. And I'm also going to show you, if you stay tuned to the end, I'm going to show you both of these in the case so you can help me decide which one looks better. So uh, but before we do that if you're new here please hit that subscribe button hit that like button and click that notification bell make sure you choose all that way you don't miss any of this content and without further ado let's compare these two beauties all right guys i have both harleys here set up on the table and they look great but they are very different and i think we knew that kind of going in and of course i have the uh, jester looks here of course that's because uh, that's the current look that i have in my case and so i thought it would be fair to compare and contrast that and then you know do the blonde hair looks as well but i basically want to kind of start at the base and kind of compare and contrast the bodies the base and everything in between so the uh current version that i have uh obviously has has this really great funhouse base it's got the lights on it uh, it doesn't light up but it does look like lights um, and it's got the you know the cracked wood beams and it's got the little sticks of dynamite and there's just a lot going on with this particular base it is uh, a pretty good size base uh, it's not very heavy which is nice um, but there's a you know it definitely tells a beautiful story here um, and I really like that fun house element um, in my opinion and then if we you know compare and contrast it to this base uh, you know I said it in my review if you watched it I feel like this base is um, overly simplistic I would have really liked to have seen something along this line um, on this base. I think that would have been just absolutely incredible. Um, but for me, the clear-cut winner here is easily this base right here. I think this is just absolutely fantastic. Uh, I think it's the best Harley base to date. Um, and it just looks really good. I just really like it. And again, you can really just see a difference. Now, this, of course, is nice because it does have a smaller footprint. So, you know, we can always appreciate that a little bit. Um, but I just feel like this one is dull in comparison. So anyway, again, that's just my opinion. Um, both of these statues are, uh, in fact, uh, fully sculpted, um, except for the pom-poms on the skates. Um, so that is something to consider. I know a lot of you don't like cut and sew elements, so that's nice if you're considering either one of these. Um, it is fully sculpted. And let's look at the bodies. So the bodies are very similar in size. Um, I think that the, the newer Hell on Wheels is slightly taller um, because she doesn't have this uh, you know angled base. But this costume I absolutely love. Uh, it's very shiny red with the matte black looks very very good of course there's lots of different bells and whistles there's a little easter egg she's got the utility belt uh, with the nightstick and the handcuffs in the back um, that looks really nice and again i feel like her body is really well sculpted um, and it is that again that black and red look uh, which they both share and this has that same pom-pom look but this is of course uh, fully sculpted and the boots look really good it would have been kind of cool maybe to see some skates on this one as well, um, but I think it works really, really well in my opinion. Uh, I really, really like it. Um, so then let's go ahead and move up the uh, figure itself. And again, uh, that black and red continues, that really luscious, uh, shiny red, which looks really great. Uh, of course, it does have the, uh, the triangles and the uh, diamonds, excuse me, the diamonds. Um, and it does have that, you know, that white jester collar which looks very cool, and the collar around her hands, the black gloves, and then of course, if we look at the mallet, this mallet has lots of detail in it. Um, of course, the button loose sculpted inside of that, which is really nice, um, and it looks good from you know all angles, really nicely done. Uh, it's mostly one color, 
So, you know, it is what it is, but I, I think it just looks amazing. So let's switch gears then to this body. Uh, very, very similar again. We have the stars and the diamonds, um, and it looks really, really great. Of course, uh, you know, this is definitely a different costume uh, where she's got just the, um, you know, the, the short shorts, the hair and the socks, and then of course, um, you know, the, the top, which is again, very different. Uh, she definitely shows more skin uh, here for sure. And speaking of skin, you can really see the difference in skin color. Uh, very, very white and creamy here, and this one, is is uh, much more tan um, so you know it kind of just depends on how you like your Harley but you can really see a color and difference of skin there um, but I think they're both really well done uh, the mallet here is much darker uh, a lot of a lot more detail in this mallet uh, although it's not as interesting I don't think uh, to the Bud and Lou um, but it's still very well painted and I think this is the better mallet of the two, even though it doesn't you know, have that same uh, maybe level of detail, but I still think it looks really good, the metal parts, uh, just all of it. Um, I think the level of texturing in this one is greater than um, the uh, Jester that we just looked at. She's very smooth. There is a lot of detail, but her costume is meant to be very smooth. Um, it's that, you know, like that latex bodysuit, whereas this is, you know, more you know, realistic clothes, I guess you could say. The short shorts and the biker gloves, uh, the 5150 jacket, which is really nice, beautifully sculpted. There's just a little bit more detail going on in this one, in my opinion, but I do think that uh, the skin looks very good. But man, if I had to choose between them, they're just, again, they're just so incredibly different. Um, I really like the shininess on uh, the one I currently have in the case. I think that shininess really adds a lot to the case and adds a really good pop of color, whereas this one, it has some color to it, but it's a lot of skin. So you're gonna get a lot of white. You're not gonna get quite as much red there. But anyway, it's a tough call on that. Um, and then let's look at the face sculpt. So let's go ahead and look at hers first. Now, this one, of course, I absolutely love. I think it looks psycho. I think it looks amazing, beautiful paint, shiny. I love that head sculpt. And then, of course, if we look at this one, this one is also really lovely. Very, very beautiful, kind of a pinup style. And it just looks really, really great. Uh, much more than I, I thought I would like. But at the same time, so here's an issue that we, that you, you know, everybody basically has with the statue, is that the Jester Harley, this one, she is looking up, which works great uh, from certain angles. But if you're looking at her straight on, you don't see her face very well. If you have her down low, where you know she's like this, man, she looks great. But again, a lot of collectors are going to display her kind of like this at eye level, and it just doesn't work. Um, and so I love this pose, but it is limited. Uh, I have figured out a way to make it work in my case, but you can just see, you know, most people are going to kind of see it kind of like that from that angle. Whereas this one, the face sculpt is straight on. So I do think that here in this case, the pose works better for this Harley, but I like this face sculpt better between those two. So again, 50, 50, you know, there's good things about both it's really, really gonna be hard to choose which one is going in the case here. Uh, I do want to now go ahead and switch out for the blonde head sculpts and see which one I think is better um, between those two. All right, so now we have the blonde looks. And again, you're getting very different looks here. Uh, this again suffers from that same issue where she's kind of looking up. Um, she has a really great portrait. She's mad, she's angry. And a lot of people really like this particular sculpt on her. Uh, I prefer the Jester between the two. But again, you kind of get an idea of what she looks like here. Um, looks really great with the blonde hair still. And it just works really, really well. But again, you have to view her at certain angles. So if you're looking down, you know, you miss some of her face. It's just not great. But if you're, you know, have her low, she's going to look really good. And then if you compare her to this, uh, this head sculpt here, uh, this is night and day better to me. I, I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I love the uh, black um, lipstick, the black eyeliner, the color in her hair. I think this one just looks better sculpted. And again, if you compare her to this one, this still looks great. But I just feel like this one definitely wins uh, here. Uh, so it's interesting. I like the Jester better on uh, the OG here, uh, but I like the blonde portrait much better 
on this one. So again, this is a very different look than the Jester look, and I think this is the way most people will display her. Of course, this is also the regular version. So man, she just looks so good. Really, really good. And again, I just feel like that is a better portrait than this one. So now that we've kind of looked at both of these, I think it's now time uh, to do uh, the really tricky part and put these in the case. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, this one in the case first so you can see kind of how I have it set up currently. And then I will put her in the case and we'll see if uh, she wins out or not. I'm probably going to need your help, guys, because I think this is going to be a really tough decision for me. Uh, both beautiful statues both from uh, Sideshow Collectibles, one for scale. Man, these are awesome. Okay guys, so this is what the case currently looks like. Uh, again, it does have the Jester Harley in there. Uh, one thing I really like is her colors, and I like that she's kind of looking up at Batman getting ready to try to hit him. I think that uh, you know definitely adds some movement to the case. Uh, but this is the way I've had it for a little while now. Of course, I am going to be getting the new Daniel Bell Bane. That will replace that one. So if you're interested in that piece, uh, hit me up. Uh, let me know, I would definitely uh, like to get that out to you. Um, but anyway, this is basically what my setups looked like for the last uh, four or five months now. Of course, Scarecrow uh, looming over. But again, I just feel like with Scarecrow and Harley, uh, it does add a little bit of movement to the case. Um, and it is, you know, not, a, not necessarily her modern look. It is that Jester look. Um, but I do like it because it is, um, you know, the Harley I kind of grew up with. But uh, anyway, that's what that looks like. And now let me show you the case with the Helen Wheels. All right, guys, so here she is in the case, and I'm curious as to what you guys think. Uh, definitely a different uh, color scheme for sure, uh, more of a modern look, but she does look really good in there. Uh, it was suggested to me to uh, move the Joker back there and put the sirens up front, and I did that. But at the end of the day, I just really like the Joker up front because I think he's just my favorite. So uh, Joker has to stay front and center with Batman, of course, uh, you know, looming over his shoulder. Um, but what do you guys think of her in this case? What do you think of, uh, you know, do you think it looks better than the Jester, you know, trying to hammer Batman with her, with her mallet? Um, I'm just curious as to what you guys think. I'm kind of back and forth. I think she does look really good in there. Of course, you know, she is not uh, dynamic in pose like, you know, the other one was, uh, where it was kind of an action, kind of a, you know, I always say that this is kind of my own sanity case. But, you know, obviously all these are, for the most part, kind of museum poses. So, you know, really it does fit in. It does look really good. The only thing that bothers me again is that base. Um, I just don't feel like it, you know, everything else is kind of like rock work or kind of dark. Um, whereas this one is that neon. It does, it does stand out a bit. But again, what you're really focusing on is like, you know, what, you know, waist up basically um, is what you see in the case. Um, I could move her around a little bit, um, you know, just depending on her angle, but I think this works really well. And uh, again, she's kind of got a stink eye going over <laughs> to the Joker. Um, but what do you guys think of that? What do you think? I just don't know. I don't know which one I prefer. Uh, they're both so good in the case. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, I really want to know your thoughts of which one you think looks better. In the case, does the modern Harley, the Hell on Wheels, look better? Or does the uh, Jester Harley look better in the case? Um, please let me know in the comments down below. But again, there's one last look of what the case looks like right now. All right, guys, so there you have it. What did you think? Which one did you think looked better in the case back here behind me? I am still really struggling trying to figure it out. And I think that this piece definitely tells a story. It adds a dynamic nature, um, some action to the case back here where she's a little bit more museum-y. Um, I think that she looks really good next to the Scarecrow. I think she looks good next to the Scarecrow and Joker. I think she fits in very well. Uh, I asked my friends uh, in the uh, Brotherhood of the Bat group, also my friends, of course, uh, Rogue's Gallery, and I asked them which ones they liked better. And a lot of them said that they liked this one better in the case. Um, so I think this is a possibility. She could also end up on my white bookshelves kind of as a separate piece over on the side. Um, but she's not going anywhere for sure. And I don't want to get rid of this one either if I choose this one. So ah, I'm still uh, torn between these two beauties. Uh, they are both so well done, so well sculpted. They both still hold up. 
and I, I still I do not know I do not know at the as of this recording I do not know which one is going to end up in the case I may be leaning more toward this one but she looks so good and she's more modern I need your help so please in the comments down below what do you guys think I'm going to read every single comment I'm going to respond to every single comment because I need some help with this one um, I'm really going back and forth because they're both so good I was kind of hoping that I would hate one uh, but you know I'm never going to purchase something that I'm going to hate in the back cave I guarantee that so I kind of knew uh, that I was going to you know struggle with this going in but they're both really really lovely they both are so well done and again, just please leave your comments down below. It's really going to help me decide, um, you know, which one. Um, and I'm sure no matter what, it's going to be 50-50 in the comments because it always is. Uh, but again, I, I really do need the help. So thank you very much. Um, and thank you guys so very much for watching today. Um, if it's your first time viewing, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button, if you will. That really does help people just like you uh, find content just like this, um, our geeky, nerdy collecting stuff. So thank you guys so very much for that. Um, and again, you guys just mean the world to me. Thank you very much. Um, uh, please consider hitting the uh, join button down below. That does give you guys early access to the videos and other perks. Um, and again, just thank you guys so very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the Batcave. Now help me decide. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.